Good morning, church. 60%. Good morning, church. 84%. Ladies alone, good morning, church. 102%. Gentlemen alone, good morning, church. By way of disclaimer, unbiased, 120%. We give thanks to the Lord for the gifts of today. This is the day the Lord has made, and all we are required to do is to rejoice and to be glad in it. And that is exactly what we seek to do. 70 years in the life of an organization is a really long time. And we will not be like the nine lepers who are ungrateful. We want to express gratitude to God. On this note, I welcome you all to this morning's church service. Before we begin, I would want to clarify that this is a family service and we have made arrangements for the children. So rest assured, your children are in good hands and they would hear the word of God as well. Well, we want to begin by expressing our faith in the God we serve as I read from Psalm 95. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is a great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, the flock under His care. Today, if you would hear His voice, do not harden your hearts as you did at Meriba. We want to give glory to God in the words of the hymn, to God be the glory as we stand to our feet. Shall we stand, please?
very much for good singing. You may please take your seats. We want to enter into a time of prayer. The Bible teaches us to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. As we get into prayer, I would want to remind us that this is an interdenominational service, and so you'll see elements of different approaches to worship. We want to focus on the high streets of the gospel, and around that we would congregate. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? You want to quieten your heart and all by yourself, just forget about any other person and you by yourself reflect on your life from where God has brought you and give thanks to this maker of yours for your life. We want to keep movement to the barest minimum and give thanks to God for your life, for your family, for your health, shall we pray? We want to give thanks to God for the institution of GCB thank him for the founders for the leaders he's blessed us with over all these years thank him for the many who have served on whose shoulders today we stand if we have jobs today in gcb some people toiled others have labored and today we get to share in their glory ours is to do exploits and add to their gain you want to thank god for the lives of all these people who have served through the years thank god that they never gave up thank god that they stood strong and believed in this vision. You want to bring your prayer to a close as we take our next point of prayer. The psalmist says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, you will not hear me. The Bible says, if we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. You want to ask God for forgiveness for any sin you have committed, because sin has a way of standing between us and God. It breaks our fellowship. Sins of omission, things we are supposed to do that we have not done. Sins of commission, things we are not supposed to do by which we have done anxious moments that we have expressed infidelity the cheating on our wives and our spouses all these offend god and you want to pray for forgiveness prayer to a close as we take our next point of prayer we want to get into intercession i want us to pray for the church in ghana by the church i mean the assembly of believers the church is meant to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth whether we are fulfilling that mandate or not you and i know let us pray that the church would continue to be the light of the world the salt of the earth the pillar of truth but when the world seeks direction they would look to the church Pray that the church will not deviate from the preaching of the gospel. Shall we pray? Thank you for the privilege we have to gather as a people. GCB is a corporate institution, but the leaders have found it fit that we should gather and pray to the one true God. Let us thank God for the privilege we have to gather around the gospel. You want to bring your prayer to a close as we take our final point 
of prayer. We want to pray for Ghana, our dear nation. We want to pray for the leaders. The Bible teaches us to pray for persons in authority, kings and all authorities, that we may live peaceable lives. Let's pray for the president, for the cabinet, for every leader in this country, that they would receive the wisdom and direction that comes from God to lead this country aright. That there will be peace in this land. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. That is the scripture. Let us humble our hearts at this point and call on the Lord that he would have mercy on Ghana and preserve our nation. We are praying for Ghana at this time. We want to call on one of us to pray for our dear nation, Ghana. If Mrs. Joyce Atakra is here, she would stand, we'll give her the microphone. Please give her a microphone as she stands. We would listen with believing hearts and together we would say Amen. As she prays for our dear nation, Ghana. giving us this beautiful country Ghana. We lift Ghana up on your altar once again and ask that you continue to bless her. We pray that you make us diligent in the works of our hands so that you will continue to provide us our daily bread and sustain our peace. Please provide our president Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado and all the leaders of this country with the wisdom to guide us in the right direction. Father, please speak to them in various ways so that they make decisions that honor you and make our lives better. We ask that they do what is best for all the people in this country, especially the poor and downtrodden. Please grant them patience and discernment to do what is right always. Lord, we continue to pray for the country's prosperity and that you will grant our country the peace that we have so that even in hard times, your hand will direct the affairs of those countries successfully. Thank you, Father, for all the blessings, provisions, protection that you have given our country, Ghana. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Mrs. Satakra. Who is God besides our God? He is a fortress. He is a king. He is a tower of deliverance. And there is none like unto him. At this point in time, I would invite our Chief Digital and Marketing Officer, Mr. Eric Kofi, to give us the purpose of the gathering. Thank you very much. Let's welcome him. Oh, let's put our hands together. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us with a glass of mind praise the Lord for his kind. For his mercy shall endure, ever faithful, ever sure. Methodist Hymn Book 18, stanza 1. Our past managing directors, the CEO of Gibbs, Mr. Achiesi, the president of Trinity Theological Seminary, very Reverend Professor Johnson Asamuajidu, colleagues, distinguished invited guests, on behalf of the Managing Director, I would like to welcome you to today's Thanksgiving service. Theme, now thank we all our God. Psalm 107 verse 1 says, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Colossians 3.15 says, And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. 
casting our minds back as a bank, we can attest to the fact that God has been good to GCB. Being able to keep our doors open to serve our customers has been a blessing and we cannot take it for granted. Having our staff in good health to prepare the bank forward has been by the grace and mercies of God. The journey mercies granted to staff members who travel across the country to keep our operations running every day has been by the benevolence of God. Without the divine guidance, we couldn't have made it this far. Our gathering today is to give thanks to God collectively as a bank for his manifold blessings. We agree with the psalmist in Psalm 124 verse 1 that if the Lord had not been our side, let Israel say, where would you have been? We are grateful to God today for his grace, his mercy, goodness and favor and blessings. I implore you all to join hands with me, with one heart, raise a shout of thanksgiving to God for where he has been and where we are going as an organization. We can only be thankful for his mercies. We can only be thankful for the gift of life. We can only be thankful that we have a job, that we have a place to wake up to each day to go. And that's the purpose for this gathering. We are grateful to God for keeping us. We are grateful to God and thankful to God for what he's going to do for us in the year ahead. We thank God for this service and let us with one heart enjoy this service. Thank you and you are all welcome. I would like to invite Joyful Way at this point to take us through a time of praise and worship. somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Come on, give me a wave. Give me a wave. Give me a wave. God has been good. He's been kind to us. Uh, hey, as we just said, people have crisscrossed the country to ensure our operations are working to perfection. We wake up every morning. We come to work. Some drives join public transport. Please be good. Hallelujah. For the fact that you are alive this morning, God has been good. Come on, be up on your feet. Be up on your feet wherever you are. And just say something good to Him. Just say something good to Him. Father, we thank you. Father, we love you. Father, we are grateful. Just say something.
So I call and you respond. For this poem, I need your cooperation to make it successful. So in the course of this poem, anytime you hear me say, for the Lord is good, then you respond and his mercies endure forever. Can we try that? For the Lord is good, and his mercies endure forever. That's good. It will be in the form of a recital, so you have to kind of listen and come along. So I may say something like, he has blessed us this Sunday morning with the privilege to gather. And so we recognize that we have to give him thanks for the Lord is good. It should be along those lines. So lift up your eyes above your brow. See the vast skies. Sun, moon, stars in tow. Oh, a canopy of firm foundations. Look across the street. The sea that treats with fish and lobster and shrimp and oyster. Oh, what a buffet without a deal. For these, we need to give thanks to the Lord. For the Lord is good. And far beyond here to address our needs, the forest that feeds, housing herbs and roots, game and fruits. The forest cools and it comes and it cleanses, oh, years and years for free. So now drop your gaze below. See the grainy sun that blankets the land and we traverse the curved surface of this joy and yet we don't fall for he by gravity secures us so we don't fall and for these reasons this city we have to give thanks to the lord for the lord is good and he has blessed you with a tongue to talk to your dear and even taste lollipop Teeth to tear meat and to chew corn, nostrils to take in sustaining breath, ears to hear the sweet, the soothing sound of music, and even a brain to think and a mind to form ideas week after week from exco to exco, from manco to manco, alco to alco, risco to risco, and all these are by the mercies of the Lord, and he blesses you with a monthly salary. Hey, you have a job. For these reasons, the Lord is good. He has blessed you with good looks and a brain to understand books. We eat because he cooks. 
We live because he is the life. We stand not because we have feet. It is the Lord who holds us. We sleep not because we have comfortable beds. It is the Lord who gives us rest. We wake not because of our alarm clocks. It is the Lord who gives us life. We have jobs not because we are the smartest. It is the Lord who provides for us and he will make us succeed. Not because our detractors went to sleep, but because the Lord is with us. GCB, let us give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. Above all these, he has given us his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Would you today, at this service, repent, consider your ways, and place your trust in Jesus Christ, who lifts your eyes and look above the skies and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, look across these high streets and look at the sea that teems with fish to to, to, to bless us and uh, think about the forest that feeds and recognize that the Lord is good. If that be the case, let us join joyfully as we lift up praise to the name of the Lord. Somebody give the Lord a mighty shout in this place. Are we grateful? Are we grateful? So now we want to give the Lord a, a, a beautiful dance. Now we do on our feet to do this one. I, I love how gracefully we are all getting up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yesu Christo, Ose, 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 yeah. No, 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 we can do better, we can do better. Yesu Christo, Ose, 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 Ose,
to pray for the bank and also pray for ourselves and connected families. And I indulge all of us to be outstanding while we enter into a time of prayer intercession. Be magnified, O Lord, you are highly exalted, and there is nothing you around the bank 
And the three main things that happen around the bank has to do with the customers, the staff, and then our operations. When I say staffs, I'm talking about board, management, and all levels. In fact, everything around the bank is centered on this tree. And this morning, we want to stand in the gap and bring these elements onto the altar of God. Trusting that our good God, who is a prayer answering God, and is able to do all things, will hear us. We started from the bank. We want to commit our board unto the Lord. Let us pray and commit our board. The wisdom they need, the guidance they need, the spirit the enablements that they need to be able to lead the bank. Continue in prayer, lifting executive management, the MD, the DMDs, the executives at all levels, regional managers, branch managers, leads, and so forth, and so on. Let us pray for enablement. Let us pray for strength. Let us pray for insights in what we do, especially at this time. If we are with a financial institution, you know that at this level, what we need to do most is to control cost and maximize the little profit that comes so that we can run. And we need to have that habit. Applying wisdom to whatever we do. Let us shift and come to our customers. We pray that the Lord will increase whatever they are doing. The bank is alive for 70 years because of customers. It's not because the staff are there to work. It's because customers are there to place businesses. So let us pray an increase in whatever they are doing. The Lord should flourish their work and cause an increase in their years. Economic crisis has not been very good for businesses. But our God is able and even more than able. Bible says that when we speak, He hears and He answers us. There is nothing good like praying for your customer. Now let us pray again for our operations. We hear so many stories. But if you have hope in the Lord, you know that your Redeemer lives. And I remember something that our MD and CEO said when we were having our Christmas um, carols night. He says that in the midst of difficulties, there are opportunities. In the midst of difficulties, there are opportunities there. And that is what we sought to do. God should give us opportunities in this situation as a bank. The eagle does not get tired traveling. It's not afraid of heights nor turbulence. It is not threatened by any other birds. And that is people who are doing the same thing we are doing. The eagle is not afraid of them. Let us pray that our operations will be perfect and excellent. We will excite our customers 
who have been loyal to us for the past 70 years. Finally, we are praying for ourselves as staff, members of staff. Now you have a role to play. I have a role to play. What are you doing to make it a different one, an excellent one? Our commitment towards what we have been given to do let us pray that the Lord will enable us to perform whatever jobs are placed in our hands. We are accountable not unto man, but we are accountable unto God. And the Bible says that whatever your hand finds doing, do it as if you are doing to the Lord, and he will reward you. It is not for MD, it is not for anybody. It is for the Lord. Let us commit all staff to the hands of God and pray that the Lord will continue to protect and guide and lead and stay with us in the many, many years ahead of the bank. This bank has fed a lot of families. Your family is part of it. So let us pray and commit the connected families also unto the Lord. If there is peace of mind at home, you come and you have peace of mind to work. If there is peace of mind at home, you come and you are smiling to your customers and you are smiling to your colleagues. Let us pray that our families will be supportive. And let us thank God again for hearing and accepting our prayer. How strength thy grace our rule thy word our end seated. We give thanks to God for this morning. In a short while, we'll be taking our scripture readings and then we'll hear the sermon. Before we proceed, we need to make this announcement in love. Some of the children want to sit close to mommy and daddy. And that is okay. But we've also made children for the we've made um, we've made uh, I, I, 
we've made provisions, arrangements, organizations, configurations for the children on the other side of the building. And they are being handled by Sunday school superintendents from across different denominations. So we would encourage parents to do well to please and let the children go to class so they can study the word of God with their kids. And if you have a vacant seat by you, please indicate to an usher so we can get some of our colleagues who have come to join us. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. Our first scripture reading is from Psalm 100. A psalm for giving grateful praise. Let us listen to the word of God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. This is the word of God. Your grace and mercy has brought 
just by his grace. Our second scripture reading is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 8. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God who transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Amen.
join us and say the very last time of the song. In grace. To our maker. standing for the third Bible reading. Our Bible reading is taken from St. Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. I read, Now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, oh, show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise, go, your faith has made you well. Amen. We are here to give our thanks. We will not be like the nine, but the one. May God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Please be Please have your seat. Thank you. Amen. Our uh, scripture readers have been Naomi Aiden Bedu, an operations officer from Dabi Avenue, who we just heard. The second reading was by Happy Temple, a credit admin officer. And the first reading was from Anthony Soa, the regional manager for Cape Coast Branch. The prayer time was led by Reverend Isaac Paul Hammond, who is the head of insurance and an ordained minister of the Methodist Church. And we thank God for the lives of these ones. In a short while, we will be hearing... Okay, I'm just being cautioned to introduce myself. I think I should have done that earlier on. So my name is Theo Ayi. I work in the risk department. Thank you very much. Um, in a short while, we'll be hearing the sermon and we would encourage us all to remain seated and minimize movement. Our preacher for today is a very reverend professor, Johnson Kwapena Asama Jedu. He is an ordained minister of the Methodist Church, Ghana. He is currently the president of the Trinity Theological Seminary, Legon. Reverend Professor Asama Jedu is a fellow of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, and we thank God for his ministry. Amen. 
we will rise and take our sermon hymn as we prepare our hearts for the sermon. We will reflect on the immortality of our God and the greatness of his name. Shall we stand please? I'd like to greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and to wish each one of you and your families a happy new year. So happy new year to you all and I trust that in God's own goodness and grace he will bless us, bless the work of our hands, bless our homes, minister to each one of us at the point of need that the year that has just started will be a blessing for all of us. Amen. I also would like to thank the organizers of this Thanksgiving service for asking me to share the time with you. I haven't asked, but I've been wondering how my name came up. But I'd like to thank you and also to um, say how very um, impressed I am by the way the service has been organized. It's been very, very orderly. Uh, as somebody who has the responsibility of teaching and forming pastors, there are certain things you look for when you go to church. 
and I think the service has been very well organized. So I want to thank and congratulate the organizers. I hope it will be so until we end. It's a, a joy um, to be with you. I'd like to recognize your um, head, your leader, your chief executive or MD, I don't know which of the titles you use, uh, Mr. Adomako, and also all the leaders of the various banks and industry who are here, and also to recognize my colleague, Asofo Hammond, who works with you. I did start my own life in the bank. I didn't stay long enough to make money. These days, I hear bankers don't make money, but when we started, when you worked in the bank, you had a lot of respect, whether you had money or not. So I started my life in a bank. I'm not going to go too much uh, into the details, but I'm telling you the story because I have a request for you. That is, if the request I'm going to give has anything to do with you. I grew up in the Twin Cities of Sekandi, Takurade. I don't come from there. My parents come from Latte, but I grew up in Takurade. So all my uh, friendly connections are in that city. And I go there very often. So that's where I started in those days. I started working with Bank of Ghana. And the Bank of Ghana, commercial bank in Takradi, for those who know, we share the same building. I don't know what the facts are, but I hear that that building belongs to JCB, as you call yourselves today. Anytime I drive past that building now, my heart misses a beat. When we're growing up, it was one of the most beautiful buildings in the city. And our schoolboys, we just like to go to the then commercial bank, just walk through the banking hall and breathe in some air conditioning. Because air conditioning wasn't common. So from there, we walk to Barclays, breathe in a bit more, walk to UTC, sometimes dip our heads into the freezer there and eat some and eat some ice cream. We don't pay for it. You put your head in it and eat and leave the wrapper and leave the wrapper in the deep freezer. But anyway, the property has run down so badly. My office used to be at the top. So from the road, you see where I used to work from. If that property belongs to you, it doesn't befit a 70-year-old gentleman or lady. I don't know all the story, but uh, I saw it even last week, and it's not pleasant. So that's my request. If it has anything to do with you, please do something about it. If it doesn't have anything to do with you, forgive my trespasses. Let us pray. Eternal God, we are grateful to you for bringing us together this morning with hands lifted up, with a mouth filled with praise and with heart of thanksgiving, we we'll bless you for who you are. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And that's what we are here to acknowledge, to give you thanks and praise for the gift of life. The psalmist says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be on my lips. My soul will make its boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. So may your name be praised this morning. We thank you for every individual who is attending the service. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that as we sing and dance and hear your word, you will minister to us. Where we are weak, Lord, may we experience your strength. 
Where we are sick, I declare healing. Where we are sad, may we be comforted. If for some reason we are down, may our souls be lifted up. Let's leave this place knowing that the Lord has spoken. We have heard and the Lord has touched us at the point of need. Watch over your word to perform it to God. Bring glory to your name and bless the ministry of the word. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it's a Thanksgiving service, I have chosen a text that has to do with Thanksgiving that I think, I believe, you may not forget. And I'd like to congratulate you on this landmark anniversary. And the text is from a book in the Bible that has nothing to do with praise. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. Lamentations, chapter 3, 22 and 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Amen. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The first thing about Thanksgiving is that you have to have the capacity to remember. You ought to have the capacity, the ability to remember. Because you've got to be able to recall things to mind. If somebody has been good to you, you've got to be able to recall and be grateful. So if you have time and you read the whole of Lamentations chapter 3, you see how from the beginning this person laments. It's like someone who has gone through the valley of the shadow of death. He says, I am one who has seen affliction, from verse 1, under the rod of God's wrath. I have seen affliction. It got to a point where this person felt that even the affliction coming his way may have been brought upon him by God himself. He says in verse 4, he has made my flesh and my skin waste away. Gives me the impression that this person may have gone through some kind of debilitating disease. He says in verse 7, he has walled me about so that I cannot escape. And you go to verse 13, he shot into my vitals with the arrows of his quiver. The problem perhaps had to do with an attack on a vital organ, the liver, the kidney, whatever it was, he shot into my vitals, the arrow of his quiver. I have become the laughing stock of all my people. That's what setting experiences of life do to you. They expose your weaknesses and vulnerabilities. So he says, I become a lifeless stock of all my people, the object of their taunt songs all day long. Fanciful friend in Kasechu. I grew up in the marketplace. So I know when the women are fighting in the market, what they say to each other. I have become the laughing stock of all my people, the object of their tongue songs all day long. He has filled me with bitterness and has seated me with wormwood. And you get to verse 17 and it says, I have forgotten what happiness is. I say, gone is my glory. May that never be your story. You have a very, very, very strong brand that you must do everything in your power to protect as a bank. And the founders of this institution, in their wisdom, 
also chose one that the most powerful bird as your logo, the eagle. And I heard a few things about the eagle from one of the things that was said. What wasn't added was that the eagle, apart from all its characteristics of longevity and of, of height and of vision, also has the power of renewal. So the eagle, among others, stands for renewal. So when the glory is fading and going down, the eagle has a way of rebranding itself so that it can carry on for a few more years. My soul is bereft of peace. It says I have forgotten what happiness is. And I chose this passage because of the gospel. Leprosy in Israel was like that. When you were a leper in Israel, you did not belong to normal society. It was associated with shame. Those of you who know a bit about the Fante language, both glory and shame have to do with your face. It either glows or it is dull. So glory is a new yam. Hmm? Your face glows. And shame is in Nguase. Your face has been brought low. So when you have leprosy, it's like doing something wrong in the workplace and being caught. Your face is brought low. Last year, Christmas, the name of a very senior friend of mine who grew up in the Takuradi city together crossed my mind. So my wife and I decided to go and visit him. He was very unwell. Maybe he had the condition already. But this was a family that was highly respected. But he and his wife had moved out of the city to go and live in another place close to a crowd. So I went to visit them. And part of the story was that their young son who worked with one of the financial institutions had found some way of siphoning money from the account, accounts that are a bit dormant and have led this kind of lavish lifestyle, especially in this day and age where young people want to run before they crawl. So things that parents spent 20 years getting, they want to get it in one month. So had fallen into that kind of situation and had been caught, had been tried, and imprisoned. This was not just about him, but it was about the name he bears. Brought the family name down destroyed such a hello. Maybe the best legacy you have is the name you bear. So, I have forgotten what happiness is. I say, gone is my glory. From verse 19, the thought of my affliction and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it. I cannot take off my mind the problems that I'm going through. I don't know what your story is, but it happens in the workplace. You can have a situation where people simply don't like you. And human beings, we can dislike, hate people for no reason. So verse 20 of Lamentations 3, it says, my soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me. You sit at your desk, you can't even be happy. Then you get to verse 21. This is where the memory comes in. But this I call to mind. And therefore I have hope. What do I call to mind? The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning great is your faithfulness. Hallelujah. 
So in the midst of the changing circumstances of life, God becomes your constant. It is this assurance of hope that the Lord is my portion that dwells in us a spirit of joy instead of sadness, of hope and not despair and praise instead of cursing and ingratitude. Verse 24 says, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Amen. Yesterday, I was preaching at the funeral of a very senior friend of mine. And I was sharing with the congregation about growing up in a family of six. Four boys and two girls. In my younger years, my mother would put our food in the same bowl for us to eat together. He wanted us to bond as brothers. But I'm the youngest of the four. Even when she puts four pieces of meat, I won't get. <laughs> so after weeks and months of complaining and crying, she decided that it was time to give me my own bowl and my own meat. And when you have your own bowl and your own meat, you take your time to eat. If your circumstances are like were like mine, you eat all the food before you touch the meat. Because that's your trophy. And it's nice. Up till today, that's my style. It's a generational blessing. And my wife complains. It's it hard so numb. That's not how I was brought up. I reserved that protein for last. Sometimes we even wash the bowl before you tackle the meat. But my point is, because that is your portion, you enjoyed it. You had a sense of fulfillment, it belongs to you. The writer says, the Lord is my portion, so I will hope in him. Amen. So when everything has been taken away from you, especially when it has been taken from you unjustly, let your hope be in the rock of ages. The hymn we sang, before I came up, immortal, invisible God, only wise. One of the lines says, we blossom and flourish as leaves on the tree and wither and perish. But not, nothing changes God. God is the constant. So on your anniversary, on this day of Thanksgiving, whether as a corporate entity or as individuals, learn to have a spirit of Thanksgiving. Don't waste your time as an individual on what people are doing and saying against you. It will make you bitter. Bitter people have a spirit of ingratitude. And as I like to say, if you are too bitter, your face begins to look like a witch. They don't laugh. Nobody can go close to them. Because they don't see the good things of life. Everybody has their challenge. People have challenges. In my line of work, the things I have seen and continue to see. If you see those things, you'll be grateful for what you have. You'll be grateful. So, in the gospel that we read, we read about 10 lepers and their healing encounter with Jesus. Those who know a bit about the interest of the gospel writers, they all focus on various things. Luke, in particular, focuses on the marginalized, what Paul would call the scum of the earth, those who don't matter. So Luke likes to talk, likes to talk about children and women 
and sick people and so on. This story, it is only Luke who tells it. In Luke chapter 17 verse 12, we are told that the lepers approached Jesus, but they also kept their distance. How they can approach and keep their distance at the same time is only the Bible that can tell. But the truth of the matter is that from that distance, they called out saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Verse 13 of Luke 17. In the first part of verse 14, Jesus instructs them to go and show themselves to the priests. In verse 14, the second part of verse 14, it was during the journey to show themselves to the priests that the lepers realized that they had been killed. Then out of the ten, it's a very familiar story, out of the ten, one of them, and as I like to tell the students at Trinity, the things in the Bible are not there to decorate the paper. Everything that is said has a meaning. Luke goes out of his way to explain that one of them, a Gentile, to be a leper, is a wrong brand. To be a Gentile makes your situation worse because Jews regard Gentiles as worse than dogs. And then he was a Samaritan. That is what Luke says. The Samaritans were the arch enemies of the Jews. So the man was starting from minus something. Luke 17, 15 to 16, the response of the leper who returned to give thanks is captured as follows. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. If you have been taken from a hole, what David calls the valley of the shadow of death, you would know how to give thanks. Just about two weeks ago, uh, in Takwa for a Methodist pastors conference and one of our colleagues, senior colleagues came to give a talk and he said a lot of useful things about poverty alleviation and things like that but after the talk I told him I didn't really like the emphasis on leaving financial legacy for your children Leave them this, leave them that, make investment. They are all good. But I just couldn't identify with what was being told me. Because I told the college with whom I was standing, I don't come from a very materially wealthy background. My father didn't have money. My mother didn't have money. And she died early. Mother died when I was in school. But there are two things that my father left me. Not money, didn't have a house. Two things that he left me. And the uh, emphasis on material legacies was good. But I didn't find those two things in the talk. One is my father left us God. He taught us how to embrace God, how to pray, how to work with Him. And I think everything we have achieved, it is because our Father gave us God. The second thing He gave us, He taught us the value of education. So these two things, you can build anything on it. I have also seen people with whom I grew up who used to come to school in car and wore shoes. I never wore shoes to school. And you look today and you ask, what happened to all the wealth? So God and education. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back praising God with a loud voice. Because he is a Samaritan, he is a Gentile, he is a leper. When you are a leper, when you even die, they don't bury you 
in the regular cemetery. They threw it away in the bush, Jewish culture. So it was not only the elements of praise and thanksgiving that were important to look, but also the ethnic identity of a Samaritan, one who did not belong, was also important for look. My dear friends, thanksgiving can only flow out of hearts who have a good memory, a good sense of the things that God has done. Because this man who returned to give thanks was a religious outcast because leprosy was a spiritual disease. He was a social outcast because le lepers didn't live among the regular communities. And he was a medical outcast because he carried a curse on his life. It was such a terrible condition that when King Uzziah disobeyed God, God afflicted him with leprosy. That's why King Uzziah was never buried in the same cemetery as David. And Isaiah the prophet was so broken that such a good king should die as a leper. He went into the temple to seek the face of God. And when he saw God, God did wonderful things in Isaiah's life. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. The extent of gratitude in the tenth leper is seen in the way it was offered. Luke 17, verse 16, it says, He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. Amen. Amen. Treated himself at Jesus' feet because he had a sense of where he had been brought from. And in verses 17 to 19, then he said to him, Get up, go your way, your faith has made you well. The Bible does not tell us what happened to the other nine. The Bible is quiet on it. So don't let us focus on them. Let's focus on the one who returned to give thanks. Jesus affirmed this man who had a sense of what, a good memory of what had happened to him. When you have a spirit of ingratitude, it doesn't matter what people do for you, you would never see the good side of things. Have a classmate we have a, a nickname for him, but he doesn't know that that is his nickname. We call him Beidzu Moyao. Beidzu Moyao. So if you who don't understand Fanti, I don't know how to put that in English, but something like, I have something against you. Because when we were in school, every time, oh, Beidzu Moyao, oh, Beidzu Moyao. This is seminary days between 1983-1986 there about we're young people then we all moved on people were posted to their stations I went to my station went on to do further studies even went abroad to study then the year 2000 I came back to start my continue my teaching at the seminary and my classmates heard that after years of uh, living abroad and get a PhD, I was back. So every now and then they will pass through the seminary for us to catch up. Then this other one came, this made to a old gentleman. Then in the course of the conversation, I asked him, I haven't heard from Kofi since I came back. He says, so from Kofi, <laughs> After almost 20 years, you are still deep people we are. <laughs> you got to learn to have a spirit of gratitude. One of my favorite texts in the Bible is what we call the Magnificat, Mary's song. Young village girl brought to the limelight by God, the God who takes the nobodies and makes them into somebodies. 
Mary recognizes that and he says, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Part of the text in Luke chapter 1 from verse 27, verse uh, 51 to 53 says, he has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. And the nine had been proud because they had taken their healing for granted. After all, we are Jews, descendants of Abraham. We are entitled to be restored. So they went away. But the one, leper, gentile, Samaritan, marginalized, he came to give thanks. And Mary says, he has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich, he has sent empty away. Paul has his own way of putting that matter. People who come from the margins and God brings them to the center. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 1, 27 to 29, but God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world things that are not to reduce to nothing things that are so that no one might boast before him that's why we are hearing the story i didn't select the passage it was selected by the organizers that a leper a samaritan a gentile can be the one on whose story we focus when we are giving thanks he gives voice to the voiceless and as i said takes the nobodies and turns them into somebody. So the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. I wish you well, dear friends, and may God take you from where he has brought you Move your bank to high highs to his glory. Amen. Let's appreciate the word that has come. The Bible says the entrance of his word gives light. And we are grateful to God. Our preacher will come up once again at some point in time to pray with and for our leaders and us. So we we'll hear from him again. Can you imagine what we're about to do now? We're about to show appreciation. One of the ways we show appreciation when we receive God's word is to obey it. And that is what we will be doing when we leave here. We will also take an offering at this time. And the offering, for your information, would be... The bank would double whatever we give and donate it to the school right across the road. It is called Bishop Girls. So what the young women receive is a function of what you give. Because whatever we receive from here, the bank would add an equal amount. The Bible teaches us that it is more blessed to give than to receive. On a day like this, I want to encourage all of us to give so our young women would be blessed. Amen. Joyful will lead us. Now here is the arrangement for the offering. So that is a box there. There are two other boxes at vantage points and the ushers would lead us. Let us rise to our feet and give cheerfully and willingly for a good cause. G money. All right. So you can give manually if you are so inclined, but you can also give electronically using our G money platform. And I think there is enough information to provide you the guidance towards that. Amen. I, I, I want to see us give, I want to see us dance and express appreciation to the good God we serve. Amen. Over to you, joyful way, 
Incorporated. Hallelujah. It's good to give to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. We give bountifully, it shall be doubled. And as we give, the Lord will double for us in Jesus' name. Amen. He will expand, He will enlarge, He will increase us. Even as we give in His house and say, Thank you, God, that our gratitude is taking expression in our giving. Hallelujah. Amen. It's always wonderful. To say thank you to God, 70 years. We are 50, they are 70. They are senior brothers and sisters. 20 years older than us. Hallelujah. Amen. So you want to dance? You want to sing? You want to celebrate Jesus? I say give. Hallelujah. Everybody, 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 everybody
Yes. Hey. 
standing while we bless our offering. Father, we want to give you praise and thanks. In Acts of the Apostles 2035, you say it is more pleasant to give than to receive. This morning, as part of what we want to do while we are 70 years old, we have given out this offering, which is to be doubled, to be given to the school across the street. We have lived with them as an institution and as neighbors with them. And we feel that, Lord, we should bless them. We believe that, Lord, even as you bless what we have received, and whatever we are going to add as bound to them, it will be of a great blessing unto the school. We see them walking around and we see the source of infrastructure that they need. We are hopeful that what this will go to enhance whatever they are doing. Father, accept this offering and bless the givers in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Reverend Hammond. Please take your seats. If you have copies of the program, you have a good idea of what we're about to do. Before the MD comes up to speak, I want to remind us of a few truths. Leadership as a phenomenon is of God himself. All leadership is vested in God himself. And Every leadership we get to exercise is delegated authority, whether in the home as parents, in civil society as political leaders, or in the corporate setting. It is of God. Right from the very beginning, the enemy and those he's able to influence kick against leadership of any kind. Did God really say right from the garden? And since then it has been so. For that reason, it has always been the case that an easy lies the head. That wears the crown. Thankfully, God is with his people. And if they will work strong and not give up, they will succeed. I want us at this time to receive a word, a message from the managing director of GCB Bank PLC, Mr. Kofi Adumaku. Let's give it up for him as he comes up. Oh, now come on, let's give it up. Let's give it up for him.
Mrs. Helen Loko, Mr. A. A. Tano, Mr. Sorry, Mrs. Matilda Robin Anson, all past former enemies. <laughs> the CEO of Gibbs, Mr. Achihese, President of Trinity Theological Seminary, Reverend Professor Johnson Asamoa JD, has challenged us to look at our building in Takura in second and we will look at it. Colleague staff, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and all of you joining us virtually, a very good and a happy Sunday to you all. On behalf of my board, management and staff, I welcome all of you to our Thanksgiving church service. We are grateful you could honor our invitation to join us to give thanks to God for the blessings and mercies that he has bestowed upon us and how far he has brought us as a country, as an institution, and as a family. <clears throat> Amidst a relatively global socioeconomic, difficult environment, confronted with all the extreme volatilities and uncertainties, it is easy to become distracted by our many difficulties and challenges. The Bible talks about the 10 lepers, which has been spoken about extensively today, who were healed by Jesus in Luke 17, 11 to 19. Strangely, only one returned to thank him showing gratitude, therefore, does not necessarily mean all is well. Neither is it a guarantee there will be no challenges. Amidst his many challenges, David, in Psalm 103, 1, exclaimed, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Showing gratitude is indeed a choice. <clears throat> it simply means being grateful. And we at GCB, PLC, have chosen to be grateful. I cannot enjoy today more than I currently am. Yesterday, my father celebrated his 93rd birthday and he has come a long way, for those of you know, in health challenges. But he did celebrate 93 yesterday. GCB is celebrating 70 in a couple of months. If I am not special, if you are not special, if GCB is not special, what more do we want from God? I think God has given us this bank, and there's a very good reason why each and every one of us are in this bank at this particular point in time. Let us be grateful to our Lord. As we reflect on the past year, I want to take the opportunity to thank the regulators, board and shareholders, customers, staff, our past managing directors for your diverse contributions to the success of GCB Bank PLC. I would like to acknowledge the Bank of Ghana and other regulatory institutions for their role in ensuring the safety and soundness of the banking financial sector. We recognize the importance of regulatory compliance and we are committed partnering with our regulators to uphold the highest standards of integrity and transparency. The partnership is going to be tested strongly this year as we work together on the debt exchange program. 
and we look forward to ensuring that the banking industry comes out stronger to drive the economy of Ghana. To our board of directors and shareholders, I have no words to express my profound appreciation for your guidance and relentless support. Your leadership and vision have been instrumental in shaping the direction of this bank. And we are grateful for your continued investment in our future. We will look closely with you for further guidance and support to take the best decisions for the bank. It is often said that <clears throat> although it matters where you go in life, although it matters where you go in life, your destination, it matters the most whom you have beside you on the way. My deepest gratitude goes to our cherished customers. Thank you for choosing GCB time and time again with all our troubles. But we thank you for choosing us time and time again and for trusting us to serve you. We appreciate your loyalty, your feedback and support. You are the reason we thrive. You are the reason we are talking all the success. You are the reason we will celebrate 70. We are committed to continuously improving and giving you a pleasurable customer experience in the year 2023. As you all may be aware, <coughs> Chalking 70 is a significant milestone in the history of our bank. As we celebrate our 70th anniversary of providing unparalleled banking services to drive the country's socioeconomic development and dedication and sacrifices, uh, sorry, dedication and sacrifices of my predecessor managing directors and the past staff that has shaped this great national asset cannot go uncelebrated. I am exceptionally happy to see some of you make time to join us here today. And again, my seniors, I thank you for sharing your time with us. Any organization, no matter how well structured, is good only as its people who work for it. To my amazing GCB colleagues, you have done an incredible job. And your dedication and support has been a huge part of our success. Thank you for your commitment, loyalty, and all that you do to make our team stronger and more successful. Our consistent, strong, and resilient performance over the years is a testimony to our capabilities and hard work. I am proud and privileged to be your MD at, at this time and look forward to working with you for another successful year. I will, however, continue to challenge you beyond boundaries and to demand better performance from the GCB team, for we deserve the best. Banking, as we all know, ladies and gentlemen, has evolved significantly, especially in the past few decades, driven mainly by technology, digitalization, and disruptions from non-traditional players. In Ghana, the banking sector has also seen some significant regulatory reforms and programs aimed at further strengthening the banking sector. The banking sector cleanup and recapitalization are but a few of such programs. Amidst all these changes and challenges, GCB continues to be your safest bet and your bank for life. At GCB, we have also undergone a lot of changes over the last or the past 70 years, but still committed to our vision 
of being a leading bank in all our matters. Of being the leading bank in all our matters. It is important that we constantly evolve. It's important we constantly evolve and understand our environment. As such, we will continue to invest in our people, our processes, and our systems. Our focus and continuous investment in our digitization, technology, and data-driven initiatives are fundamental to the developing a technology-led bank and will drive our ability to provide our customers with a pleasurable customer experience. Ladies and gentlemen, we further have invested in the state of art, in a state of art security operation center to proactively manage our cyber risk and fraud of our business, which is high on the agenda of the financial and banking industry. Emphasis will be laid on our environmental and social governance framework, which will guide our growth in the market and in returning shareholder value in a sustainable way. ESG protocols will drive our engagement with customers, staff, vendors, and partners in 2023 and beyond, and will remain the DNA of all we do as a bank. Our strategic ambition, ladies and gentlemen, of dominating the market by the end of 2024 remains very much resolute and on course. This, however, is only possible if we remain true to the timeless values that have guided how we have worked throughout our history and continue to shape our future. Integrity and accountability will be more imperative than ever before and instrumental to our operations. And I have no doubt that you, my colleagues here gathered, will all come to the party. Ladies and gentlemen, 2023 will be an exciting year and a very exciting year, trust me. As we take steps to repair our economy, definitely this is an ad horse journey ahead as we work through the domestic debt exchange program and policies thereof that will have to be implemented to strengthen and develop the Ghanaian economy. As stakeholders, we will all be required to make certain difficult decisions and share in the burden to ensure a full recovery of the economy and the robustness of the banking sector ultimately. As we head, uh, as we look ahead to the year 2023 and beyond, I want to challenge all of us to embrace the new year with courage, with hope, resilience, and dominance. We must have hope in the future and face our challenges head on. We should not be afraid, but rather, through courage, take measured risks to try the new things and to push ourselves to do better. This great bank has faced and encountered many crests and troughs, but we partnered to ride them together. We must strive for dominance in our industry. We must be the best at what we do, and we must continuously work to improve and innovate, for the day we stop, we begin to die. We should aim for excellence and be the shining example in the industry. I believe that by focusing on these values and principles, we can navigate the challenges that lie ahead and continue to grow in our market position whilst returning value to our shareholders. That is dominance. 70 years and we are not stopping. 
70 years of trust, 70 years of resilience, 70 years of nation building, we will continue to get better at what we do. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, let us congratulate each other for having been able to achieve so much whilst aiming at reaching new heights with profound zeal and vigor. As we congratulate ourselves, let us think of our families, families that came before us over these 70 years and the contribution our mother, GCB, has given to each and every one of our families. Let us be grateful. Let us sing and dance and be thankful to God for his goodness. Oye, oye, nyamiye, ampa. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank you very much, MD. The closing words of the MD's speech are lines from a song composed by the leader of Harmonious Chorale. And so we're going to stand together and in the words of that song, express our appreciation to God there. Oye Razampa, Oye. Usan Asim Papa de Ayatinza. So let's stand to our feet and dance and acknowledge God for his bountiful blessings on us. Harmonious Choral. And this is in response to a request from our MD. As we say in Ghana, it is on his heart. Yeah, this one is on his heart. Thank you.
more music and there'll be more dancing. But for now, please let's take our seats and fulfill all righteousness. We want to acknowledge a few dignitaries and personalities in our midst and groups. So in no particular order, we want to acknowledge once again our former MDs, Mrs. Helen Loco. Thank you very much for coming to share in our service. Former MD, Mrs. Obing Ansong. Thank you very much. God bless you. Former MD, Mr. A. A. Tano. Thank you very much. God bless you. The MD of Gibbs, Mr. Archie Hesse. Thank you very much for coming. We also want to recognize the executive committee of the bank, the ex school, who have been working with the MD. If you are a member of the ex school, you may please stand so we can acknowledge you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. We want to acknowledge the hardworking executives of our unions. If you are an executive member of the unions, please stand so we can acknowledge you. We acknowledge your support. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. Then we have, um, in fact, we have a former head of HR, Mrs. Atakra, who prayed with us earlier on. Mrs. Atakra, can, Ms. Atakra, can we please acknowledge you, please? Thank you. Thank you. Head of retail, former head of retail. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. May this one not count towards my appraisal. <laughs> Thank you very much. Then we have ex-staff who have made time to come and join us. Ex-staff of GCB who are here. If you're an ex-staff, please stand. Let's acknowledge you. Ex-staff, thank you very much. God bless you. It is on account of your hard work that others like us can get to have jobs today. Others have labored and we share in their glory. And ours is to do exploits and add to their gain. Beautiful words. Thank you. Okay, now... Um, all staff of GCB want to acknowledge you. If you are a staff of GCB, please let's acknowledge, let's see you. Oh, please stand to your feet. Let's stand. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so at this point in time, I think I will, um, we want to pray for, we want to request our preacher to pray for our, I think I've missed someone. I'm sorry, I can't hear. Customers. Oh, how could I have done this? Another appraiser point, two. <laughs> please, if, if, oh goodness, how could, please, if you're a customer of GCB and you are here, we acknowledge you. Please, let's see you so we can acknowledge you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. At this point, we want to request for prayer. The Bible teaches us to pray for persons in authority. It's a very important uh, discipline. And so we want to request the preacher to pray for our MD. So, MD, if you could please uh, stand, the preacher man will pray for you. And then for the, uh, after that, for the ex school as well. We want to request God's blessings and God's guidance for you. Thank you very much. MD, you may please uh, come in front here. Thank you very much. you call them, we can stand together. So we say, Amen. Okay, let's go. This is the God we adore.
So as we heard, the last two lines of that hymn says, we will thank him for all that is past and trust him for what is to come. Let us unite our hearts in prayer. Eternal God, it is your name that we bring thanks and praise. We bless your name for who you are. From everlasting to everlasting, the scriptures say you are God. You are the God by whose mouth, by whose word, this world came into being. We are the work of your hands, and you have called us to be fruitful. We thank you for Jesus Christ. You are told in your word, the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he comes that we might have life and have life in its fullness. We thank you for this beautiful word, world you have made. We thank you for each other. I want to thank you for the gift of God of exercising dominion over your creation. It is for good that for such a time as this, you have called together this team led by our dear brother and friend, Adomako, to lead this bank. I want to thank you for your calling upon their lives. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, Lord, like a pillar of fire by night, you will guide their steps through the darkness. When day breaks, we pray that like a cloud, a pillar of cloud by day, Lord, you would be ahead of them. We ask for wisdom, divine wisdom from above. We pray that, Lord, the leadership of this bank, led by the MD, will be used as a point of contact to be a blessing to this institution. Seventy years of God must completion in your sight. They are going to begin a new life. We pray that by the empowering presence of your Holy Spirit, you will move their feet to greater levels. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that anything about any of them that will become a setback to the work of this, this institution, Lord, we pull it down in the name of Jesus. May none of them become a victim of any weakness in their lives. Help them, O oh God, to climb hills, to go through valleys, lifting up their eyes, O oh God, and looking at you. We come to you because you are the God who neither slumbers nor sleeps. You are the God who is beyond the logic of sleep. And so keep your eyes on them day and night. Be their shield, Lord, and guide them and bless the work of their hands. As human beings, we deal with all kinds of frailties, including ill health. We pray for them strength and life. Deliver them from evil. Grant them the spirit of discernment to know where you are leading. And grant them the humility to follow. Gracious God, we pray that your hand will be strong upon them and their families and by extension on all who are staff of this bank. You bless the house of Potiphar because of Joseph. So because of your servant, Adomako, may this bank be blessed. May the next years ahead of us stand as a living testimony of what you can do with those who love you. There are things of God that you know that are not clear to us. Those that are negative, bring them down. And those that are true and noble and just and of good report of God, may they flourish. May GCB Bank PLC do well to your glory. And may all who talk about this bank talk about how you have done great things and how you are blessing the leadership and the staff. May their structures 
be a place where people come and find comfort when they are struggling in their businesses. I pray that the work of this bank will be seen as a ministry, a place where God's people are served. Let the glory of their work come to you. And Lord, be a blessing to Adomako and his team. All to your glory and the blessing of our generation. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Uh, we wish you well. Thank you very reverend uh, Asamoa Dede. At this point, I want to quickly ask the planning committee members to stand up. I want to say a special thank you to each one of them, to you and the team for bearing with me and for putting this together. Where are the planning committee members? Can you please be outstanding? I must say that we've had two thank service uh, this uh, past week. One, the Muslim uh, or the Islamic service also chaired by Senna and the committee. If Senna and committee are here, I want you to be upstanding. You've been a wonderful team. You've been a wonderful support, and I really, really appreciate working with each one of all for making this possible. God richly bless you for your time, for the countless calls, for the countless journey that we've been through together. Thank you very much, and I wish you the very best. All too soon, we are wrapping up a few announcements. So the refreshments are for all of us, and our invited guests will be ushered by the relevant persons to the relevant place. The Christian community invites all Christians to join the weekly prayer meetings on Mondays in the head office from 7.15 to just uh, before 8, so the branches can work, at Liberty and... Uh, Circle Towers as well, you know the times. And all other units are also encouraged to pray on Mondays. Details will be shared on the various platforms. The owner and or driver of the Honda Civic, um, I think he's been spoken to already, so I'm not going into that detail. There will be photographs at the end of the program right here in front, and the MCs would help us to know the order. At this point in time, we will take our closing hymn, and it will be followed by the Hallelujah Chorus after which we'll have a few more songs from Harmonious Choral, and then later on Joyful Way. Thank you very much. We will take our uh, closing hymn at this point in time. Now thank we all our God. Shall we stand?
see on the program that after the blessing, um, the choir will sing Hallelujah Chorus. I'd like to plead with you that when it's being sung, you stand until uh, it is done. Let us go in the blessing of God. Now unto God's mercy and protection we commend you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God lift up the light of his countenance upon you. May he grant you his peace. May you know the favor of God. May God's face shine upon you and all you do. May God grant you the desires of your heart that are according to his will. May the peace and the calm of the spirit rest upon you. May you see the fruit of your labor. May God make you fruitful this year in all your ways. May he bless you and bless your children. May your homes be blessed. And may every uncertainty in your life be certain because the spirit of God is going to be your guide. And the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, that sweet, that warm, that wonderful fellowship that comes only from the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with each one of us now and always. Amen. <laughs> Oh!
Thank you, Hamulios Corral. Thank you, uh, Joyful Way. And the Lord be with all of you. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You may please take your seats. So officially the program is over. All members of Manco may please stay behind. <laughs> our invited guests in the Exco, the eighth floor, if it's your destination. We're going to take our photographs. And uh, Eugene, I think you'll be helping us do the honors from here on. Thank you very much. Uh, you okay, so Harmonious Kora, you may take your seat. Joyful Way, you may be coming up stage now. Thank you very much. Uh, how about to you, uh, Eugene? So quickly, MD and Preacher. Sir, kindly take a photo with our MD. Photographers, on standby. followed by MD, the preacher, and other invited guests, which includes our customers, area managers, heads of departments. So MD and preacher, please start now. So MD, preacher, and other invited guests. Other invited guests, uh, Gibbs, head of Gibbs. Former MB. Yes, please. MD guests and former MBs. MD and former MBs. After that. Followed by MD guests and executives. As well as the former MB. So executives will join after this shot. Manco, Exco. Next, please. They should wait with just former MBs, yes. MD and former MBs. MD will be in the middle. It's a beautiful day. MD executives and former MBs. Executives, please join. Yes, please. Quickly, so. Okay. Sophia Wufu. CIO. So we'll take it with the, after this, the heads of departments and area managers will join. Quickly, so. You are Alpha Omega, Hallelujah. You are Alpha Omega. Okay, executives govern uh, Manco. Executives and Manco. You are Alpha Omega, Hallelujah. And members of staff who came all the way from the zones in respect to Cape Coast, Ho, Kofuidi, Akumase, Sunyane, Takarade, Tamale, Tema, and Accra. You'll be joining region by region. We'll be joining region by region. So if I call your region, you join. Some will have to stand behind. Cape Coast Zone, Cape Coast Zone, MD executives and staff. Nobody do me like you. MD and executives, Cape Coast Zone, please come. Everything Cape Coast Zone is joining. MD and executives, Cape Coast Zone, MD and executives. Cape Coast is already whole zone. 
Nobody there. Oh, so. You are Alpha Omega. Hallelujah. Ozone. Hallelujah. Hey, Ozone. And go for your zone on standby. No way you don't love me. You can blow my mind. I'm standing at MD. No way you don't love me. You can blow my mind. I can't deny MD. Oh, MD is joining. Oh, I can't. You are Alpha Omega. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, Sizo. Hallelujah. With your area manager. You are With your area manager. Be on standby. Keep your zone is on. Followed by Kumasi zone. Kumasi zone and stop. Stop on the Kumasi zone with your area manager. Quickly so. After Kumasi Zone, Sunyani Zone, with your area manager on standby. Can I testify? See, I go pray. After Kumasi, Sunyani. Everything within hold me is just okay, go hold pray. Hold So hold on. Give it unto my dying day, oh God. I give all my praise to you. Hold on, you're next. I go crazy. Everything I am, everything I am. I go give you all my praise. Hold on after that. We will do Sunyani Zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Branch no managers, you have your turn. Wow, please come down for us. Come, Kali Loa. Union executives, be on standby. Heads of departments, be on standby. Branch managers, be on standby. So, Cocodia Zone, you are next. Thank you very much, amazing choir. Don't stop singing, but let's be on the low. Next, Sunyani Zone, have you done? Sakwari Zone. Kofodia Zone, are you there? Quickly. Kofodia Zone. From Kofodia Zone, we go to Sakwari Zone. Union Executives of Employees Union, as well as the PMSU. is after Tamale and Tema, so please relax. This zone is Tamale zone. Tamale zone, then followed by Tema. Tamale zone, please quickly, with your area manager, Temazon on standby, and then Accra, we save the best for last. On stand Mr. BC, please, Accra Zone will follow. Tema. Sakra, this zone, have you been here? Sakura Dizon, please come. I mentioned you earlier. Sakura Dizon, with your area manager. Tema Zone, after this, Tema Zone, then Sakura Dizon, please come. Quickly, please, quickly. Tema Zone. Accra 
Also. PMSU and executives of the Employees Union. Please. Takwade after Takwade Tema, Tema, please wait. Tema, please wait. Takwade is the one now. Take it now. Akra, you are stand by. This is Takwade. After Takwade, Tema. This is Tema. Tema, sorry. Next, please, Accra. Get Accra, that's the last. Tema. So don't, Tema. Takwadi, please go, Tema is next. Tema is next, Tema is taking now. Please take your photos. We are done with Tema. The photographers are done with Tema. Takwadi. Yes, please. Take, take those ones there. Can you take? Next, please. Great Accra. MB is in a hurry. Great Accra. After this, Great Accra. So that we go. Please take a move. Kindly calm down. Take it together. Take my take it together. Take my take it together. After this, we are done with the photo session. Thank you very much. Accra, Accra is next. Accra is next. Executive. After Accra, yes. Union executive. Union executive, both unions, please come here and stand by. Employees and PMS, please, pl please join me here. PMSU. Accra, please quickly. Accra, quickly. Head office is Accra, Accra is head office. Please take your photos now. Head office are next, Liberty and Circle. Please come and take your photos. You are part of Accra. Head office, Circle Tower. Head office, Liberty. Head office, High Street. You are all Accra zone, so please join and take your pictures. Okay, head of his part one. Head of his part one. Please hold on. Head of his part one. Part two will join. Because I think we cannot fit here. Accra part one. Accra part one. Accra part one. Please, if you are not in the short wait, there will be Accra part two. Next, please, you can go Accra Part 2. Accra Part 2. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Employees and PMS Union. Next staff, yes. We are almost done with the photo session, so please. Quickly, 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 quickly. Time is fast, but please quickly do that. Are you done? Three, two, one, Accra part two has ended. Next, with it. We are wrapping up now. Please move. If, please, yes, no, it's that photograph. The, the, what? I'm calling out, I've not been taking, so please move so that MD can go. Executives, I'm calling out, yeah. Union executives. Union executives. Please come. Union executives. Union executives. PMSU employees union, quickly. PMSU, PMSU, with employees union together with management. Ex staff will take and we are done. Thank you very much. Thank you so, so much. Quickly, employees union and PMSU. Quickly, PMSU employees union. 
Next staff, you are the last. Ex staff executives, yes. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, ex staff executives, yes. Ex staff executives and ex staff, please come. With MD. And from there. From there, Joyful Way will take over. Quickly, so that lunch can be served and we'll be refreshed to leave early. Thank you very much. MD is taking with the ex staff. MD with the ex staff. Thank you very much. The photo session is over. We are grateful for your time.
and operations managers, please kindly come forward. Area manager wants to see you. Accra managers and operations managers. Yeah, what's it for? 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 Yeah, what's it for?